So here I am outside the Victoria um, shopping centre in Harrogate and uh, it's Monday and I thought that we would go on a little uh, day trip to Spofforth Castle. Now um, Spofforth is a small village not too far away from uh, Harrogate and the way to get there is by getting the long uh, bus to um, Leeds that goes via Weatherby. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to be too expensive because I've only got a, a little bit of loose change. Uh, if it's more expensive than that, I hope they're going to be able to change um, notes. <laughs> uh, they don't like doing that on the bus. Anyway, so, bus station is just around the corner, which is where we're going to go. Um, what do I know about Spofforth? Well, uh, not a lot. I do know that it was one of the early uh, little villages built um, in a time when all of this round here was forest between here and Nairsborough. And uh, it was the seat of a, uh, a barony, hence why uh, it's got a castle. Now, castle is a loose term um, here, really. It's uh, um, a fortified manor house. And I hear that there's not much left of it. In fact, so little left that uh, English Heritage, which look after it, um, don't charge for entry. But anyway, we'll um, we'll uh, we'll go and see what's um, what's there. Right. So we're in the bus station, and uh, the bus over there that you might be able to see the double decker. That service is the uh, 36, which goes uh, between Ripon and Leeds. Um, but that's not the one we want. We want the 770, and I actually don't know offhand which stand it leaves from. So, time to have a look. <laughs> Hope we haven't missed the next one. I found it at stand 9. Um, Now it's between, I think it's actually quite early, I think it's before Follyfoot, so it's under 15 minutes and what are we looking at? I think 11.20 is the next one. Right. <clears throat> so I'm here in uh, Spofforth and it's uh, definitely not where I thought it was. Um, it's actually just uh, a little bit beyond Rudding Park and I was wrong, it was beyond Follyfoot as well. Um, Oh, there's a little for sale sign here. I'm looking to move. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so going to find the uh, castle, which is, I think, around there somewhere. Um, here is the uh, return bus stop. Interesting thing, in fact, about the bus, because uh, I did uh, say to you that one of my worries was I had uh, um, a shortage of coinage and uh, notes and um, in England you can't really expect the uh, buses to accept or change notes because obviously they don't carry that much uh, money in change. Now the price of the ticket, the return ticket, was £4.50 pence, and I had £4 <laughs> and a £10 note so I got on the bus and I said oh I'd like a return um, ticket and uh, and um, he uh, he said oh he said because um, I said well I've got four pounds and I've got a ten pound note can you change a ten pound note now he's uh, well within his rights to say no and in fact to say to refuse me travel until I can you know break into the note myself and come back um, and uh, I have been in situations where bus drivers will do that in fact um, which is very inconvenient of course for for you because you then miss your bus have to have to buy something to break into a note uh, so that you've got the right money it happens more and more now because uh, what the, the, the bus system has done is it's put up its price like everything. So it's in that little bit of a, um, a, a gap right in the middle of a, you know, a £10 note. So they really would like you to uh, probably have a £5 note because they can break that. Anyway, so um, 
he said, well, uh, he said, I'll see if I've got change, and he couldn't get his change machine to work. Um, so he said, look, he said, sit down, and uh, when, you, when you come to, to your journey's end, uh, hopefully I will have some change and we'll sort it out. So off we went, out past Rudding Park, through Follyfoot, uh, and here to Spofforth. And I said, look, I said, uh, have you got enough change? And he said, um, he said, no. He said, look, what we'll do is uh, we'll call it four pounds. <laughs> so he let me off 50 pence, printed out the return ticket for me. He said, uh, it's not your fault that, um, you know, you, that I can't break the, uh, break the note you've got and you haven't got that much in coinage, which is really nice because he didn't have to do that. Um, and I suppose 50 pence for the buses is, is probably nothing for them. Uh, n not if you're going to keep, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, good relations with your customers. So I shall have to write a letter of commendation to him. Obviously, I don't know what his name is because he he wasn't wearing a um, a name badge. They don't. <laughs> but uh, I do know what run he was doing and at what time. So, um, but that's traceable. Anyway, time to try and find the castle now. So I found it. Um, I actually went the wrong way to begin with, but never mind. Here we are. This seems to be the uh, entrance to Spofforth Castle. I know a little bit about this. So just have a look. Yes. Yes, this is what I learnt. This is um, a uh, 1066 uh, barony. Um, set up by William the Conqueror to somebody called uh, Percy. He uh, was sort of granted baronship of this area, built his uh, um, his home here. Unfortunately, he backed Lancaster during the War of the Roses. Oops! Uh, although the War of the Roses was actually sorted out through marriage. Um, between Lancaster and York um, for succession of the English throne. In reality, York won, Lancaster lost. Um, and this was one of the places that was uh, on, the, on, the, on the front, in fact, because this is sort of quite a, a close barony to York and on the losing side. So anyway, uh, we'll go in. The... Uh, the house, the, the, the family, Percy, um, they left here um, and they moved north to a place called Armswick where they uh, were granted uh, a new barony up there and um, that's really where their legacy lies, that's where they become famous for, eventually they moved on to being earls and you know, quite important people. it looks good doesn't it later um, the Percy family of course uh, reclaimed this but only used it I suppose you might like to say as a medieval holiday home uh, their, their main place was in Armswick and they left somebody in charge here they um, didn't have much luck in fact because I believe they uh, also backed the Royalists, uh, well I suppose they would, um, being nobility during the Civil War. Uh, and so the castle came crashing down around their heads again. And this time I believe the Percy family lost it altogether. Um, a new barony for the area was created. Uh, and uh, it was them that eventually gave this, this site over to uh, English heritage. Uh, because it's such a ruin... Um, English Heritage don't charge. Now it used to be quite large. There used to be four wings, uh, north, south, east and west. I think this is the only wing that still exists. So it would have gone out that way, down to the trees, and along that way as well. So uh, without further ado, we'll go and look at it. <laughs> 